You can count on it. You can count on it. You can count on me. You can count on me too. You can count on it. You can count on it. You can count on me. You can count on me too. You can count on it. You can count on it. You can count on me. You can count on me too. You can count on it. You can count on it. You can count on me. You can count on me too. Welcome. 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 To the Thrill Podcast, where even the artists can be fans. AJ the Menace. Shane and Petty. And your boy Jeff. And today, oh, we, it was perfect. It was crisp. It was crisp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you saw his reaction, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I was like, it was like I a while. Know. Yeah, but it was everything. Yeah, the timing was on point. Boy, it was crazy. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> all right, all right, good. So, yeah, we live, y'all. Uh, welcome to everybody that's going to be in the tree. I, it was a couple people. Um, we were getting a couple notifications because I posted that thing. And I also dropped that video, Can White People Say the N-Word? Mm. So it was it was some notifications. So people are coming right now to the okay. page. Yeah. So we actually might get a decent amount of viewers in here um, at one time. It'd be interesting to see. But yeah, we were just starting it. We were just getting it cracking. Uh, starting off, we were pretty much starting talking about uh, Kiki Palmer announced that she is pregnant and yes. showed off her belly on SNL. Ooh. Um, you all saw the clip, but you can kind of no, no, I didn't. Yeah, I saw it. I saw the clip. Yeah, oh, you didn't see the clip? No, I no, saw that clip. I, I saw okay. like some. I think you know, it was during her, her monologue, sketches. Right? Yeah, yeah. I didn't see oh, none of the sketches okay. during her monologue. She did the whole. So there's been rumors that I'm pregnant, and the truth of the matter is, I am. Oh, you know what I'm like, <laughs> okay, yeah, she would do that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. bro. Yeah, so it's like. <laughs> But to me, you know, I fuck with Kiki Palmer, but she always does too much for me. Yeah, she's high always kind of like she, Doja she, a little bit, where it's exactly. just exactly. Like, yeah, Doja's like way worse though. Yeah, way yeah. worse, way worse. Yeah. But she do be, yeah. do, she just be doing a little too much. But how was the sketches? Because I didn't see none of the sketches. Yeah, uh, I only saw one. I saw uh, no two. Uh, I saw one where it was like. Uh, uh, they were doing like a Drake PSA where they were all like women. All the women in the cast were just acting like they were women who. Didn't date Drake, but had an interaction with him, and then oh. he said, "But he said, yeah." But then all of a sudden, I'm on the interlude, uh, and he's saying that he dated me. He's like, "No, I just gave him a coffee a little too late." And oh, then, cool. uh, then he just okay. did beef. Uh, sounds like brain. So it was funny <laughs> stuff like pretty, that. Yeah, that sounds pretty accurate. Actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, really? That, yeah. That, I mean, <laughs> I don't sounds, know. Sounds his presumed beefs. Like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it yeah. doesn't sound out of reach. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's for funny. him, for you to end up in a Drake record and really. <laughs> And you didn't Your interaction wasn't bad at all. It right. was yeah. just a he regular human interaction. Way. But then the way you hear him spin it, you're like... Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. It's like, yeah, I mean, like, I'm so date. minor. Like, how did this become a whole song? But you know what yeah. it is, though? It's like, it really started with Drake when the Courtney on Hooters on Peace Street or whatever that was. You remember that bar? No. That was like during the Young Money era, but he had a, a verse. And he said on the verse... That was the first time I vividly remember... Him calling out a girl and it was real specific. And it was about some girl that worked at some Hooters or Diner mm-hmm. in New York and he named the street. Didn't name the he named he just said her name and this goes out to her or whatever. She was always the one to, to complete me. Something like that. Uh, uh, and then she from, got was it on from time. Do y'all remember that book? I think bar? I know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah. 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 She yeah. was the one the to one complete The one I needed me. was Courtney from Hooters on Peachtree. That's yeah, what, yeah, 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 yeah. Courtney from Hooters on Peachtree. Yeah, oh, shit. she. Yeah. That was the first time he did it, and everybody was like, "It went. It, it stuck really well. Like right. mm-hmm. that became like a Drake thing for him to like. So, oh, so I got to start airing niggas out. Yeah, okay, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, yeah. like because I do. remember that. I'm pretty sure that was the first big one where it was like everybody was like, "Who the fuck is Courtney on Hooters?" On, and then yeah. she Specifics. people knew who she was. Right. And then like she got blown up, and she was like, "That's crazy." You know, it was like so he's been doing it ever since. <laughs> So I can imagine a Starbucks interaction where, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay, something, yeah, yeah, Something really mean. light. Where well, I've been doing this for 15 years. I know how to turn every situation, right. just blow it up. Yeah. My little interaction at Starbucks, oh, hey, I'm going to write about this. Me and her were dating for six months. I could just, like, he's he's playing out his future with all these women. Yeah. And then writing about the future that never happened. Right. They're yeah. like the, the muse of his art. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, no, so, so that that means like I guess whoever wrote that sketch must be really in tune with that knowledge. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, I would have never it seen very it from specific. that. I would never thought about it from that angle, but right. yeah. you, as soon as you said it, I knew it. Yeah, it was just yeah, a, but, like they made it like it was a real PSA of yeah. all these hurt women from Drake that 
had just maybe like weird in- interactions with and ended up in one of his songs, but yeah. they didn't date him or anything. Yeah. Even just at the most recent OVO Fest, um, he brought out Kiki. Not Kiki Palmer, oh, obviously, okay. but, oh, but the, the Kiki, Kiki the from Kiki. the song. Yeah. Oh, Kiki. The Kiki, do you love, you love me? me. Yeah. No, yeah. Right. He Damn. brought that Kiki out, and it was like, it was like his first famous girlfriend. Mm. I don't know, bro. It was something like that. Yeah. Me and She's Richie, famous? I think this woman, this chick is famous, too. Yeah. Oh. This chick is famous, too. She's like Canadian famous. Oh. And I think okay. that might have been his like first big time. I don't know. Gotcha. Me and Richie were talking about it when it first came out. We were yeah. just kind of laughing, because we was like... This nigga really be bringing his exes out on stage, talk about, you were yeah. so influential in my life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, our yeah. relationship, it'll never be, it'll always be, I'll hold you so close to my heart. He's like the, he's like the male Taylor Swift. Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's kind of kind of it's kind of cringy a little yeah, bit, because yeah. it's like, you be giving these flowers to 20-year-ago relationships. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, right, right, your high right, school right, girlfriend right, right. is just true, getting true. flowers randomly one day. Yeah, like, yeah. And they probably yeah. moved on. And, <laughs> I mean, yeah, you've had... There's several Mary situations. Kids, got, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Five, right. 10, 20 years right. in between. Right. Yeah, 15 yeah. years in between yeah. these little <laughs> interactions or whatever. You're so like, oh, yeah. in a song. Yeah. But you're in a song and it's like... Whatever, but at the same time, he's so big. Who's gonna say take me out or? Oh yeah, take me really out. Really have an so, issue with it, yeah, especially like, somebody famous. I mean, yeah, stock no. just went up again. Yeah, it was amazing. And the you song, I mean, the Kiki, like that, that shit was like the song of the summer. Yeah, it was crazy. Out. Yeah, that was a huge song. On top of that, it was a hit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I felt sorry for uh, Shiggy. I feel like he didn't get a fair shake. Yo, man, I, yeah, for real, bro. Duh, I'll never I forget. Agree. I kind of agree. With I, I think if it was, I don't, I don't know if it was the academics and it was Charlemagne, but they said. If I see Shiggy dance one more time, one more time, yeah. Oh, it's, you're right. I'm pissed. Like, yeah, yeah this nigga was, Damn, I was, forgot about Shiggy. He was really yeah. out here, like, shooking and jiving. Yeah, yeah. he was. He and was. then Shookin I remember, and I'll never forget the video where he was just courtside at some game. They, can't, they put the camera on him and he jumped up. And he had oh, his thing. Man. And they put that slave music behind oh, him. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, bro. I didn't see that. You didn't see that one? I didn't see that I'll, one. I'll definitely oh, make this a real shit. then. Yeah. That one was sick, bro. Yeah. That wow. one was sick. And mind you, in my head, he he really had a lot of bad, he really had a lot of fucked up things happen in his career. And I don't know if that's because he was never respected on the same level as like a, a fat boy SSE. Yeah. Obviously, Drewski took it to another level, but. Is it because that's how he started? He started out with the dance shit? I don't know. But he was, I mean, but he was doing like. Comedic sketches and shit too. What he it? was, it was more than just yeah. It was dancing. It was yeah, right. he was still doing sketches. He was still doing like talking. So we knew he had a personality, and we knew he was funny. But it was like he got pigeonholed so crazy into that dance, dance when we when mm-hmm. we clap mode. It was Oof. yeah. You don't want to get like bad, that, yeah. bro. It was bad, man. And See, then that's I'll, white famous. Yeah, <laughs> and then I'll yeah. never forget. This is the worst part. This is what sealed the deal, and then my visibility on Shiggy. Was damn near zero at that point, um, and we still f- I follow him on the podcast page. It just don't be popping up like that. But uh, I didn't remember. It was a video of Fabulous and somebody else. They were backstage somewhere, and Fabulous was asking Shiggy to do something for him in terms of like promotion, like, "Hey man, make a sketch or like make a dance to like this thing." Right? Asking that he was like, "Yeah, that's fine." Like, "Oh yeah, I love to, bro. I can send you like an invoice. I'll email you." And then. Fabulous was like played him out like ain't nobody paying for that shit like it was disrespectful as hell like wow I think I've been seeing that wow. yeah and it was awkward it was a couple years ago and it yeah, was like real awkward and somebody just recorded it was like a hot mic situation yes it was like on some backstage like we kicking it backstage at this concert and everybody's laughing and joking yeah, we got the nigga Shiggy here Fabulous is here and then he was Fabulous was like yo you gotta do that thing for me he's like yeah bro yeah we could talk about it I'll send you the email I'll send you the invoice or whatever ain't nobody finna pay for your shit <laughs> nigga like oh, and nigga started wow. laughing bro and it was like crazy <laughs> embarrassing it was fucked up because it's fabulous it's fa- it's fucked up because it's fabulous. So you're already going to look like you losing. But this is literally somebody trying to run their business. But this is already after the shooking and jiving era. But it's like... Wow. That's, it was fucked, bro. Yeah, you short. get secondhand embarrassment off of that. I'm, you get I'm secondhand embarrassment. Story, and yeah. then you feel bad for him, too, because it's somebody that's trying to... I'm trying to eat off of my viralness. Like, right, right. I can't give everything out for free. That's crazy. And you shouldn't yeah. be... Expecting everything to be free either. Yeah, that's a fact. That's you know fact. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. it's fucked up. And then like, it's I'm running a business too, but right, yeah. right. And it's fucked up that you're even like 
Then it, and then there was other people laughing too, bro. I don't can't remember the other people in the room, but it was pretty bad, bro. It was like two or three pretty popping rappers in there. Damn. And it was mm. it was it was like this is fucked up, man. That was the first and last time. Yes. Yeah. No, I'm, um, I'm damn, man. Yeah, that's why like getting it off of dancing in terms of internet. It's hard. Yeah, just I, I wouldn't and especially, especially as a black body. person. Especially yeah. as a black person, yeah. Especially because that's all yeah. they're just going to keep on. Because we have a dark history dance. with. Yeah. Oh, especially if you don't. Especially, to, yeah. 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 Like, dance, come nigga. dance for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We yeah. have a dark history. I'm going to find yeah. that real. That shit going to make y'all throw up probably. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that real is crazy. That that TikTok, whatever that little sketch is, that court side, it's. Boy, that shit will fuck you up in the head. You'd be like. Because like, you can't see yeah, right. yeah, it after that. You can't see it after that. It's hard. It's hard. To, it's, hard to, it's like, God damn, man. You know <laughs> but, but how, many, how many things do you think would have, we would have a, that same revelation if you just put the slave music under it? You know? Like, oh, does that would work be crazy. for a lot under of our lot, female, any, yeah. uh, you know, our, our female artists? Like, does it work? Like, who else does Literally it turn for? the mute off. Put, yeah, mute, put that mute in the music. video and put in some sort of like how many dance, other dance music behind. Yeah, how many other scenarios are it would actually look insane. a lot, bro? It'd, It'd be a lot. It'd be, you know, you'd it might be surprised always, probably. It might yeah. be countless. Yeah. Or you yeah, probably yeah. throw that shit behind the NBA and be like, "What the fuck is going oh, on?" Oh yeah, <laughs> I, hate, I hate. I almost it. hate that we're putting this out into the air because, uh, like, yeah. a white person. If a white person starts running just this run account, with it, yeah, yeah. and then just only upload shit like that. Oh my god, that would hurt my heart. Would that even be accepted? Like if a, if a I mean, there's there's a lot of things. Well, that the as, as, you to post it as, as long like, as they don't know who it is, like, right? right. Yeah, yeah, if you just post okay, it as yeah. anonymous, yeah, yeah. I don't even yeah. want that account. Yeah, it could be a, what, what they call edge lords. You know, people right. white white boys who like to just do controversial shit just just for fun. White boy oh, wow. comedy like that. Ed, it's called edge lords. Oh no no no! That's what they call white boys who like like to use the n word. Anonymously, like they like to be controversial they for controversy's controversy, sake. Yeah. You know, they they like pushing okay, buttons. So yeah. that's yeah. crazy because yeah. if it's called Edge Lords, I had no idea. Now I'm interested. Adam Twenty Two and Danny Mullen started a podcast called Sledge Lords. That's why mm. it might be that's a play on it because they are. It's got to be. Yeah. They they are, be a play they're, on. Yeah. they're definitely Edge Lords. And yeah, Danny Mullen lords. for sure. Like he's the white boy that thinks the effect. He wants to, he's just offensive all the time. Like, yeah, right. yeah. his offensive shit. And he's just one of those white dudes that's just like condescending, making bad jokes, but they're always offensive. That's why they're good. He's yeah. like, well, you know, the situation that I actually found myself in was figuring out how to properly like masturbate without getting all the extremities everywhere. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> okay. he's got a toss like that, like right, one of them yeah, type right. of dudes, you know? Yeah. And no. it's called Sledge Lord. So now yeah, I'm Sledge really Lord. interested because. Huh. Based off the definition, mm -hmm. they have the right co-host for sure. They got the right host yeah. on that show. Yeah. And it yeah. sounds like the name is pretty accurate, too. Yeah. Also what true. really f fucked me up, you know, pretty recently was um, finding out how white people use the N-word now. Mm -hmm. um, I, I remember, because, I mean, we, we've seen it, like, in, in the public eye a little bit, where with that race car driver was caught on live with his other three friends. Uh, they were playing a racing game or something something like that, and he's, he was talking to one of them, and he said, hey, hey, do you have... He was asking them a question, and they didn't, he didn't hear them. And he went, hey, hey, um, hey nigger, <laughs> you know? I remember that. Yeah, yeah. That. And yeah, then I the other that. was like, yo, we're, was we're, we're on... We're like, live. Yo, they yeah, were like on Xbox, Xbox playing, but something. it was on like Twitch or something. Y yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. They were got, like they were know, streaming. They got same caught time. using it, the N word. But yep. yeah. And there was this other country singer as well, a, a country singer that used it in that way as well, where they called another white person the ER nigger. Right, right. Uh, but to why? me, because it's the same reason why uh, we used. Right, right. It's funny because you're not that thing. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, if yeah. I call you a faggot, like, it's funny because you're not gay. It's crazy. I wonder if, if we were monetized, if this episode would be monetized. I know, but yeah, we'd be. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're, just going we're getting crazy. a no from behind the scenes. I was thinking to myself, like, bro, this, this is, is live. Yeah, we're, we're going crazy on I was this like, one. I was like, the one time we got the perfect live, we were going wild. Wow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this we're is... breaking every rule. And, and people yeah. have been dropping in this bitch. In I said, <laughs> yeah, bro. I said the F slur. I said, we said the N slur. Yeah. It's for educational purposes. But see, but I was using it to make a point. So, yeah. We are, going yeah. kind of, we are going kind of crazy right yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. But I thought we made some good points in here. Yeah, yeah for sure. I, I don't feel like we were like, you know, um, just saying it for, for saying it. Shake, shake. No, no, no. No, I mean, no, no, no. We no, weren't. No, we weren't. Okay, for the, for the record, for the record. But you know, that's just kind of how they do I don't things. use 
any of the list on a regular basis. Yeah. Any of the list? Like any the, of the words, words or, or of the words, words that we've missed. Oh, no, no. We're yeah. just, we're I, dissecting it. I really, yeah, honestly. It started yeah. from yeah. Sledgelores. I mean, it went from Edgelores <laughs> to Sledgelores. No, actually, it went from Kiki Palmer to <laughs> Yeah, that's, a, cra- that's yeah. a crazy term. But that's how we do. We just go. That's how we do it around we, here. You hey, know we, what I'm saying? We uh, Like Bruce Lee, we flow with the water. Yeah. Um. But hey. Yeah, because you gotta put do. some, you gotta put some heat on a lot of those words. Like you have, you have to mean that. You gotta put some heat yeah. on. Yeah, oh, yeah, maybe that's, that's another a, another thing. It's the intention behind the word. Yeah, that that changes the word's definition. I mean, that's how yeah. it is. With yeah, the you gotta word, save right? those. Man. If you call me nigga, I'm not gonna take that the same way as I, as my friend oh, Brian. White me nigga. Oh yeah, facts, <laughs> yeah. facts, facts. It's like shit. It's gonna feel different whether I want it to or not. That's true. That's true. The hell. That is a good point. Oh, but but just real quick, the the. Keenan and Kiki uh, sketch that was pretty good because then Kel at some point at the end came out so it was like I saw Kenan that and Kel. little clip yeah yeah and Kel clip. still he still got it man like yeah. really uh, he still do it yeah yeah he's it's like nothing ever changed <laughs> you know. He has a show right They didn't now, do the orange he? soda thing, right? Yes. They did. Yeah, they did he the walked in. Was, that was the gag. It was the, the first gag when he opened the door. Hey, how is everybody? Everybody started yelling. And he went, uh, Keenan opened his arms and he went to hug him. And then he passed Keenan and, and went to this big frig- refrigerator that had orange sodas. It was like, oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So man. that was like his entrance man. gag. <laughs> man, he was so good, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. Keenan and Kel was so good, bro. Yeah. I mean, honestly, black, uh, two black teens had a yes, show, man. Yes. Can that fucking even? And were the starring characters? Yeah. Like, strong. Big, yeah. big shows. You yeah. Because like, it was all that, and then they got. I guess yeah. that they got the best fan ratings off of all that. Yeah. yeah, yeah everybody. Every popular. show that got really every, good ratings. Every show that would dig well. In all that, they got turned into a show. The yeah. Amanda show. But yeah, Amanda Bynes is quite a um, major crush on back. The <laughs> Drake was, and Josh was Drake yeah. and Josh spin off all that. No, 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 no. Drake and Josh was. was on, they were. I know they were on there though. They were on the late season. I don't know if they did that sketch on all that. Right. They might have though, honestly. I, didn't even know I feel like a lot that. of them shows were birthed out of those sketches. There were a few. There was a so three or four. I wouldn't because I know for sure they were both on all that in those later seasons. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, they were right. both on there Maybe I in those watching later seasons. Yeah, and I was barely watching those. Yeah. Right but they time. definitely both had their time on there. So it yeah. make, it only makes sense. There was a lot of Disney and uh Nickelodeon shows where it was like there were characters ba- bounced off of another show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. like, it's, oh, Zach and Cody was from this, and, you know, it's like you trace it all back and shit. Drake, Makes sense. Drake and Josh went crazy, though. Drake and Josh? Yeah, yeah, because girl, a girl I was dating at the time, she had younger siblings, and they were really into Drake and Josh. I was so into I Drake and Josh a for a little there. bit. I right. liked watching it, too. Yeah, yeah. I did Yeah, I enjoyed it when it. I saw it. Yeah, yeah. but... um. Yeah. yeah, that was a good one. iCarly. That was the iCarly yeah. time. I never got right? into iCarly, though. A lot of I watched like a few of them, though. Though. but that was a huge show, though. Yeah. yeah. Huge yeah. Now show, that I look though. back, actually, a lot of people and say that. And my older sister was like, because my younger sister would be oh. watching it, and my older sister was like, this show is pretty good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So I just never uh, tapped into that one. Yeah, iCarly, it's it's really crazy because a lot of people say like that show was like to the very beginning of uh, streaming and social media, social it media. Was. That's and before it was. it was a thing. And she it was took a, it, an yeah, influencer. Yeah, it was. It yeah, was an influencer before influencer was even a that's thing. That's a fact. That's a fact. So yeah, it, that's a fact. It's kind of breaking ground. That, that was a groundbreaking ass show. It was like she her was heavy story. internet based. Yeah, right. Yeah. And that show was huge because of that. That's so like young millennial. You yeah. Know? Like, hey, I'm just gonna uh, document my life online and put, yeah. it, put it out there. And that's before we really started doing that shit. Damn, so we wouldn't have half these TikTok stars if she it was wasn't for Carly low key. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. No, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, because she was she was doing that. That motivated the people I to Carly put that predicted. phone in their face. And yeah. She was shooting TikToks on the show and went out with. I mean, it wasn't TikTok then. But it'll be. You know but who else did that? Like you know what other show like did that? That, that was like that. Zoe One Hundred and One. Oh, yeah. really? oh, Zoe One Hundred and One had that. Um, with Britney Spears it. That, it had that streaming social media feel throughout the whole show too. Yeah. That was a Nickelodeon. That was Britney. Britney Spears. Britney Spears. Jamie Spears. Jamie Spears. Yeah. Yep. Hey, looking me right in the eyes, like what the hell? <laughs> what is that expression? Yeah, That's I'm like gonna fucking kill you. Eye, <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? She's like fuck. She's like, like you fuck, nigga. Didn't give me no that. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. It's revenge. <laughs> It scared me for a minute. Yeah, I, I was forget, like, "Yeah, I ain't forget, nigga. I'm just, pl- I'm just waiting on yes. you to fall asleep." Yeah, yes, that's what it looked like just yeah. now. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. Um. All right. Let's see. Should we go to? What was the other thing that I had in the um? Oh, so the takeoff situation. Oh, oh yeah. Takeoffs. Uh, there's somebody been arrested for the murder of takeoff. 
And it's a DJ. For some reason, bro, I literally could not find the DJ's name. His actual, his government name is Patrick Xavier Clark. His name is but he's been arrested. Nick yeah, but he's been arrested for the murder of Takeoff. Okay. Um, and the a couple of things have a couple of things came out that were that just screamed that he knows he did it and was trying to get away. Really? Now there's no way to say this. You trying to process a how to There's no it? way to say this. What I'm about to say okay. without sounding really fucked up because I am extremely sorry okay. that Takeoff lost his life. But this is the first case of somebody I saw trying to actually flee the country. See, mm-hmm. when the whole Rico thing went down, I don't mm-hmm. know why the hell... Um, thug and everybody who just stuck up. Not stuck Thug. Out. Thug got ran in on. Yeah, yeah, he got but, ran in. Uh, but uh, what was the other nigga? Gunna? Gunna? Yeah. I don't know why he didn't run. Yeah, in my yeah, mind, yeah. he should have ran. Well, probably for... That's like the... the isn't the fleeing going to be admission of guilt? Yeah, you look time? goofy. The fleeing's an admission of guilt, but it if is. you get away, you get away. Yeah, but I mean that's a that's but you a big, run that's a big yeah. You not if run. you can not if you go to a country without ex- extradition. What you gonna do about your family and everybody else around you that you're supporting? Like you you gonna no and no you no. Support. They understand that's over. They yeah, understand yeah, yeah. that's over. I'm out of here. Does your family understand that though? They don't have to understand. I'm out. <laughs> like, oh, you know what I'm saying? That's well, the how, point of how, running. How does that make you feel as a human? though? I, if you it got makes if you, you got, feel bad, it makes you feel bad. Grandmas, aunties, feel bad. Right? It's kind of sucks. Abandon your family like that, but hopefully you have. I'm out of here, nigga. I mean, we're talking about running right Where's now. Where's daddy? You know what I'm saying? No, 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 you know, this is, a, me, this is a selfish move. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold up. Back, 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 back. That's daddy. All right, I'm going to give you your list. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. yeah. Okay. All right, so, your, your list of choices of countries that okay, do not yeah. extradite. All right. You got Russia. Okay. The UAE. I'm not going there. You're in war right now. The UAE. So you can go to Dubai. Okay, okay. Uh, they strict, but it's it's a move, but I got to get get. I can adapt. I can adapt. Yeah, maybe. Saudi Arabia. Ukraine, hell nah. No, nah, I can't do You're that. You're in right war now. right now. Bahrain, yeah, yeah. hell nah. nah. See, he was trying to get to Mexico. Where, where, which one? Belarus. Where's Mexico, Belarus? that's too close. Uh, he's, uh, he's, he's in Texas. No. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Mongolia. <laughs> it's driving distance. You know what you're going to do in Mongolia? Thailand. Uh, let's see. That's Thailand. That's Thailand, Thailand is not on here. Cambodia, Mexico, Morocco, Mexico. Tunisia, Bangladesh, Cambodia, Vietnam, Kuwait, Qatar. Okay, now you're just naming planets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not looking great, guys. That's all I'm saying. But long story short, though, long story short, the DJ was arrested. And I can't remember Tatooine. his name. But he was arrested one day before he had applied for an expedited. He had just got an expedited passport mm. in the mail and had large sums of cash and had a ticket the very next morning to get to Mexico. To Mexico. He knew he was going to. He knew he did it. Mm. It was making arrangements to get out the country. I think it was just gotcha. under the name of DJ Pat, bro. That's what it is, mm, I nice. think. DJ yeah. Pat. Well, see, Mexico's yeah. nice because um, they do technically extradite you, but but you can get so anywhere corrupt. from there. Well, it is so corrupt in Mexico. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you grease palms in there. Exactly. But even if you can't grease the palms and you want to go somewhere else that won't extradite you because it's not guaranteed, the main thing is you have to get out the country first. You know what right. I'm saying? Right, you have to get out the border. Because that'll passport, give you time. Right. Yeah, you know what I mean? Past customs, right? You got to get past the customs. You got to cross yeah. that border. To where now that I'm in Mexico, I can get a flight anywhere. Yeah, they don't give shit after that. Yeah, I can get a flight anywhere, and by the time they get the law, by the time they get everything settled processed. in to where processed to where they can even stop me at an airport, I'm already gone yeah. right, to right, another right, right, country right, right, from right. Mexico. Right. So, but yeah, I mean, he was about to be out of here, y'all. So he was. They about almost to do didn't all get that. him. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, they that's almost. Crazy. They were probably twelve hours sh- shot, like. Early, yeah, early, yeah, yeah, yeah. B- b- a missing of arresting the suspect who the person who killed Takeoff. So, yeah, what so do you yeah. think? It's a matter of him not moving fast enough to do it. That's what you think. I think he moved as fast as he could, honestly. Oh. And they were just quick, or they were just, all the shit processed fast? quick. Because how long ago was the Takeoff murder? Maybe three uh, weeks ago. Yeah, it wasn't that long ago. Man. It was Damn. maybe three weeks ago. I mean, he could have got out by now, but but like you're saying, they but they they've already had him for they've already had him for for like a little bit. Because they only made they've had it's only been like two or three days now. Okay. So mm-hmm. it hasn't been that long. It's only been like two or three days. Yeah, I think he was. This... Uh, he was. It says I think he. Oh, Halloween. Uh, uh, November first. It was Halloween. Yeah, That's yeah, right. Yeah, Halloween. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, the, the night of Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so it, pretty much yeah. a month. He should have been out of here sooner than that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he yeah. should. He, he kind of yeah. he he was dragging his feet. Yeah. 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 See, yeah. I mean, which is, yeah. Uh, again, it's, it's fucked up to say, but yeah. It's fucked up to say, but but we're trying to rationalize like. Yeah. Yeah. He was kind of dragging his feet, but it's also as you said, the first time anyone in any of these situations we've seen more recently. I haven't seen somebody try to get away in a while. Yeah. 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 And there was some couple. I can't remember, but they're one of those Hollywood couples that is like 50 and they get a lot of plastic surgery, this white couple. Mm. They got sentenced, him and his wife, he got sentenced to like seven years. His wife got seven years for like embezzlement, like millions really? of dollar embezzlement. Yeah, this was a yeah, couple weeks ago. Yeah, I can't yeah, remember I what think, the hell their name is I now. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I, I think it was, I might have uh, seen it on 
uh, they're like one of those like they, it's like they're like a DeFranco. famous celebrity it, couple or some yeah. shit. Mm. Was it that? I see that. I, I well, if it's it seven there. years, maybe not. But I was thinking that nah, that might be worth fleeing the country. I don't know. Mm. Seven years is a long time. They, and mind you, they're like they're like fifty, sixty already. Yeah. When if you're already yeah. 50, 60 and they're like 50, if you're already wealthy, already. yeah, husband and wife embezzled millions, so yeah. you should have a lot of liquid. And also that if you're okay, if you're embezzling, that means that okay, your money's not just in U.S. You've got your money. A lot of your it's money's already. Over. Yeah, yeah, your money's outside yeah, the that's U.S. True. Already. So you so should be able to move. You should make Swiss bank account. Yep, make moves. Yep, you may have that thing where it's like. In, in case shit goes left, <laughs> we already oh, have like a. I'm telling record. you right now, um, if I ever pass like the 10 million mark, oh, I'm like, it's going out the country after that. Yeah, yeah. Money's going out the country. And that's the thing. So that's the thing about the yeah. DJ Pat. This is fucked up that we're kind of, I'm kind of just like harping <laughs> <We're on this. laughs> the, the, the FBI is like, uh huh. Mm-hmm. Why didn't he just drive the border? I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have got a flight. I know. Mm-hmm. I'd I have know. drove. Because they'll let you right through. You're in Texas. Drive. Yeah. Nigga, get on that highway. Pass through the board. You know what I'm saying? Like, where you going? I'm like recreation. I'm going for recreation, not uh, not for business. And just keep going. Yeah. I feel yeah. like the only thing. I mean, granted, it's supposed to buy you time. Like, if, if you're in a situation and you go to Mexico, yeah, that'll buy you time. But I also feel like there's just so many operatives already out there, like as well. They got like sleeper agents out there, probably just like waiting to pull you back. No. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, they yeah, but that's the thing. If it took yeah. them a month, because you got to remember, there's also a there was already another arrest made in the takeoff case already oh, okay. first a dude named Lil Cam yeah and that okay. was the wrong arrest and that was the wrong but he still uh, they didn't re- but they never charged him for the murder they arrested him for having a firearm okay. mm-hmm. and he was so because he was one of the people they were able to identify with the firearm mm-hmm. so pretty much they're going for everybody who had guns there pretty much right. yeah. anybody who let off shots anybody who had a firearm they're trying to get all yeah. of them was arrested. he the one in the in the video where he's in, in the car that had the gun I'm not sure. Okay, Might okay, possibly though. Okay, okay. But yeah, uh, yeah. But he's being held. But even when he was arrested and everything, they never put the murder on him. They was just it was just possession of firearm by a felon. Like he yeah. was under a regular ass charge, mm-hmm. oh. and people were like, "Y'all making arrest?" But that wasn't a murder. And then now there's officially the murder suspect has been arrested okay. as right. well. So they're probably we're probably looking at one more to two more arrests because they're saying it. They're thinking it was three people shooting total. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. And it's just harder because... They're going to hand out second-degree murder charges. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Unless that third person can really prove that they were the self-defense shooter. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, what is self-defense in that kind of scenario? I whoever, mean, pull, whoever pulled first, first the, yeah, the, person the person returning fire is yeah. the self-defense. Yep. Is, yeah. the, is the self-defense person. But what whoever, is, whoever pulls the blick first. Yeah. But I mean, like, if you're discharging in, in a public place... A bowling alley, a bowling alley, something like that. Who's really, who's really, who's really on defensive? I don't know. That's why I'm because you're because you're the endangerment factor to me to everyone else. Is, yeah, is that stands out to me more? So the bowling ball was coming at no, me. No, no, no. You like, still, you still, yeah. you still, there's still a defense in there. It's whoever the second person to pull their gun out, pretty much. No matter what, the second person who pulls their gun out, even if they hit a, even if they hit somebody on accident. They were still defending their life because somebody pulled a gun on them. And I keep forgetting that too, that he was so, killed on accident. Right. Yeah. yeah. It, it, so, like it wasn't an intentional thing. It's like the case, yeah, that's my that's where I'm crushed. Like, okay, so let's say the case is you they said somebody shoots at you, you pull your gun, and you fire back, but your bullets only hit people that are unintended targets. Yeah, I think you're still liable you, for yeah, that. Yeah, you're liable you're for still that. You're liable, but you're liable for that, but you won't be liable for yeah, no second murder. degree murder or anything like that. Right. All right. Really? It might be a manslaughter charge. Oh, okay, cuz manslaughter is under endangerment or something like that. Mm. Yeah. You'll beat the heaviest charge though. Mm. Right. Because you it still wouldn't be like no murder shit or nothing. Like yeah, because you, that that involves you still, intent. But I think if you have a good lawyer, you could get off yeah. With either really light time or no time, if you have a good I'm lawyer. I'm sure the theater's got good footage. Yeah, sure yeah, because that's the oh, whole yeah, that's thing. Yeah. I mean, being a firearm owner, because at the same time, I'm under high pressure because I'm getting shot in an area where I shouldn't be shot at. Right. Um. So even if my aim is off a little bit, there might be a little bit of grace, as long as nobody dies. Hopefully you hit somebody in the leg or some shit like that. That's yeah, all right. You know what you I'm saying? You would prefer. And it's Texas, so they probably open carry type shit. Right. Mm. Um, but I don't know about in a movie or yeah. in a bowling alley. But no, actually, no, no, no. I'm sure mad people have a sidearm just in a, open carried in, Oh, in, yeah, in a Texas. Alley. But that's the thing, though. But There's so many Atlanta laws too. surrounding that, too, though, because if you're drinking, that's a charge. Mm. You can't yes. carry and drink. You know what yes. I'm saying? So then you're getting charged for that. Like, the reason they actually caught this DJ Pat is because um, 
footage shows there was a wine bottle that he was holding and there was a handgun that he was holding. Uh, and they he left the wine bottle on the scene. That's how they pulled the prints. Okay. Gotcha. Um, based off the footage, they saw somebody drop the wine bottle. They found the wine bottle. And then they pulled the prints, got him. Okay. Yeah. So gotcha. And then the gun. Even yeah. if he somehow beats the murder... You're still getting charged for disordering, um, discharging a firearm in a public space. He's still gonna get uh, if he's a felon, he's gonna get oh, felon in possession yeah. with a what with a uh, firearm. Yeah. You're still gonna get wielding a firearm or shooting, or discharging a firearm under the influence. Under the, yeah. You're still gonna get a, quite a few a charges. Stuff, yeah. You might get charges that get you two or three years. Still, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Even if you beat, 20, yeah, even if you take out the murder, even if you take the murder <laughs> out, you might got a low. You might have enough. At- Racked up enough felonies, yeah, just to get another five years out of it. You That's know what I'm saying? saying? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Either way, it's not a good. That's look. pretty yeah. much how it works. Because it's like anytime somebody's in jail for murder, there's so many other there's a or any sort of thing like that. There's so many other cases. There's so many other uh, laws that they've also stacked on. Oh, there. they pile them on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's so many yeah. up underneath yeah. the headline. So, shit that you've never heard. Yeah, the headline right. is arrested for murder. But then it's possession. Yeah, you got 12 other charges. It, yeah, you yeah. got 12 other yeah. charges because like, they are hitting you for every oh, little yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, so. Reckless endangerment. Reckless uh, endangerment. Uh, uh, possession of a firearm. Yeah. Control substance. Yep. What they intent to distribute. They would just like, stack I mean, they just get stacked <laughs> up. Unkept, and, unkept facial hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's, and that's the like, crazy. Like, fuck the vibes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, 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 that people be kind of forgetting, like, yeah, you be fighting one case. But you're fighting like seven charges, you know what yeah, I'm saying? On yeah. that one case, and yeah. all of them have to be addressed. It's like, man, oh, you yeah, just made yeah. those, three and they up, all had to be addressed. There's every a single whole, one of them. yeah, a whole procedure for There's every a procedure for one. every one of them. The main one, normally, but if you get 20, 30 years, they charge you for everything else, but they'll run it concurrently. <laughs> so yeah. you know what I'm saying? You yeah. got 20 years for the murder, but you got five dollars for the, you got five years for the possession of a firearm by a felon. You oh know, yeah, you're just running them all in the 20. You can have yeah, you can have two consecutive lifetime. Um, they hit you with the with the statement unconcurrently. Oh, they hate so you. So that's it. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's it, bro. That's it. <laughs> they hate you. That's These it. charges will not be filed concurrently. Yeah. You are state property. You are state property for life. Yeah. yeah. That's, mm-hmm. that's how that's how niggas end up with 300 years. That's crazy. Because they don't run them concurrently. Yeah, when, they, yo, when they say shit like that, bro, yeah. I'd be so fuck? disrespectful to, like, to hear that out loud. Four I life know. sentences. Just, just two life sentences. I'm not going to lie. Like, you give me four life sentences, bro? Yeah. What four life sentences? And we only have yeah. one life. Right. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. So, so what so is the purpose of living? No what is really to yeah. be 100 Why do you just say death? I think, I think <laughs> those kind of things are meant to just mentally demoralize. Yeah, you're meant to just toil. And send a message. Yeah, you're meant to just send a message to people, too. Yeah, fucked for life. And you're going to be in solitary. Yeah. Bro, do you remember the the G when the GS9 thing came out? Mm-hmm. When the GS9 with Bobby, Bobby Schmurder and his game came down, they were getting football numbers, bro. Yeah, they yeah, was getting they were, they were, 57 years, 65 years, 78 years. They're gonna get out as elderly, years, elderly men. 87 years. Like they were yeah. getting the wildest numbers up yeah. there in New York when yeah. that case. That's why when Bobby and them got seven and a half or seven, that was a super win. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's like half my game got. Over 37 years. Yeah, like yeah. That's just three years short of a decade. He had the legal dream team. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, you got to have an unlimited, you got to have a crazy bag, too. Right, like, right. He had, he had unlimited that's, that's funding. That's so crazy, basically. bro. We have the justice system, but, yo, money just rules all. Oh, it's for sale. Rules that, is all, the, bro. that is the justice system totally right there, Y'all watched like, the Lincoln Lawyer? Y'all seen that before? Oh, with, The Lincoln uh, Lawyer? I've what? heard of it. I know Ma- McConaughey? About. Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, I yeah. saw it a long time ago. Matthew McConaughey? Um, That was a comeback, actually. That was for a second. The audio did no, no, the audio is good, but the the, the live feed picture did. went yeah for oh. a second. But um, the, yeah, Ma- that was his comeback. Yeah, movie. Matthew McConaughey. That movie was crazy, and I that's what that's just what it is, bro. Yeah, yeah it's like I figure that out, man. That's like law, it law is. itself is kind of fascinating, like yeah. how it works. Yeah, you know, like trying yeah. to figure it out. Like there, there's a method to bro, it. Bro, it's all the money. This is the thing about law, bro. This is the right. thing about the justice system, is. Money will solve all your problems in a courtroom majority of the time Mm -hmm. unless you're hurting people. Yeah. Yeah. And that's dealing drugs that people have overdoses on, methamphetamines. Murders are tough. uh, Murders. Yeah. Rape. Child things. You know what I'm saying? Those, all of those things, it doesn't really matter how much money you have. You're literally just trying to avoid a life sentence. Mm -hmm. You're trying to beat a life sentence at that point when it's something that's crazy like that. Yeah. But when it's something like that deals with money embezzlement or oh yeah, weed because that that's not even looked at anymore. Weed, 
Things that don't hurt people. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. With enough money, you can go ahead and beat that case. That's yeah. it. Honestly. Or even if you don't beat it, the charges you get are so less, you never spend a day in jail. Yeah. You might be on probation for four years yeah. or something like that. When you were, you might be on probation for four or five years when you were facing 10. Yeah. Right? yeah. But now you're all just on probation, now, you know? I think it's crazy because honestly, unless you're, unless you're Harvey Weinstein or Bill Cosby, where you just have... The number of accusations are just ridiculous, and it's right, like, right, it's right. It's like right, we got to right. do something, people. But yes, unless it's yes, one of those. Yes. Actually, I kind of sad as it is. I kind of feel like sex crimes and like ch- kid stuff don't fall into that category. If you have money, you're like you're pretty immune to that. Oh, that's Jeffrey true. Epstein actually, he, the first time he got caught in Florida, man, he he got the craziest like sweetheart jail deal. He came mm. in on the weekends and then he'd go home and go run oh, his yeah, business. Oh yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah that's so true. R- r- rich you people, right there that. is a difference. Like, yeah, like in in terms of how you're treated. Yeah, and stuff like yeah, that. Sex there, stuff there is, is weird. Classism sex stuff still plays weird. a role. Yeah. in the in our justice system. Because you want to talk about people fl- flee the state? Sex stuff. Yeah. Oh, uh, like they white do. people have been fleeing the state. That for, is true. They get yeah. the fuck up out of there. Yeah, um, that's true. That's Roman true. Polanski. I Polanski. Think? Yeah, yep. he he fleed the state. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. Like, he's like a director. People do he did get the, out of there for yep. stuff like that. He did the silence. He's still alive, and I think he I think he's still married to one of his child. Or is he? I think. Oh, that's Woody Allen. It's Woody uh, Allen, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah Woody but Allen see, but that, was crazy. That, he, that was daughter. he adopted a daughter. He yeah. adopted a stepdaughter. And then married her and then at like 14 her. or something. Now, now yeah, that one, I, I looked into that because it's so weird. But it's so crazy. It, it's it can't so be weird, real, right? Yeah, it's it can't be real. But he, like, I saw like him and his wife. They're like happily married, and they were saying like we didn't even know each other uh, at the time. Like, like we visit each other every once in a while, and then like the situation is still weird. Right. But the way that they both talk about it is sort of like. Like they didn't, they weren't familiar with each other, and then at some point the mom was out of the picture. Okay, to me blah, blah, blah. that, to but me, it's still unappro- inappropriate. That yeah. to me is uh, pure. It's not like he groomed her. That's what. That, that yeah, was. I was about to say. To me, yeah. that's pure. Because grooming. he said that he was barely yeah. around her. Fourteen really. to me is pure grooming. Yeah, she yeah. she was like thirteen or fourteen. Because yeah. that's why their statements sound so flush too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I yeah. I didn't. We practice this because he groomed yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah. Ironed so, the details out. It is so it is so natural because it's been. A, such a thing for them for so long. They've had years. But, but like I'm you saying said. she said yeah. too that he was barely around. You know, like he was he come. You know, sort of like uh, he would he'd come, come around he'd, every he'd once in a while. Hey, he was a gift. Right, right. Yeah, give her sex toys yeah. and shit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah, you know what I'm saying? Something yeah, kind so, of crazy. Hey, I'm like just telling you what they said. So I don't know. You know, it could be wrong. It's it's the mind of it's the minds of people. In those kinds of positions of power and things like that, it's just they just want shit that they aren't supposed to have or whatever. I don't know. It's but that uh, that still goes back to how you were saying that it does get swept under the rug, especially with something like the Balenciaga thing that's yeah. going on right now. Oh yeah, yeah, I heard about that. That's too, getting yeah. swept under the rug as well too. And LeBron was a uh, he did a press conference, but long story short, trying their best to get yeah. It. So mm-hmm. Balenciaga released a line with a famous children photographer. And in the in the photo set or the shoot set, whatever, it was children holding teddy bears in BDSM attire. Yeah, right. Yeah. And then not only that, there was different photo sets where the toys with these weird sex objects were laying on top of these um, child porn cases. Uh, oh, I saw that one too. Doc- yeah. Documentation. Like if you zoomed in. To like it, like if you table. zoomed in and say Rover's way, but it would be mm-hmm. it was some case that it associated with yeah. specifically child porn, and it was like two or three different dist- imageries of distribution. that. Distribution, yeah. right? And it's like, yeah, that, that they're was saying the it's one. just a coincidence. That was crazy. Yeah, yeah. People <laughs> were trying to make it seem like it's just a coincidence. Yeah. yeah, they never apologized for it or explained it. All they did was remove it off the website. Yeah, yeah. That's and Kim is. Kardashian, all she said was. I'm going to start paying more attention to companies like so we don't have these problems like this again. She never apologized on their behalf either. But it's like... And the photographer came out saying that, look, I didn't even... like They just hired me because yeah, he uh, his other stuff... Thing. Yeah. He yeah, saw, yeah. Uh, he... Um, he that's what he does. He takes pictures of like children with stuff for like companies and all that right, stuff. Right, right. So that, he thought that he was just being hired for that and he has no control... Over, over what, what you the want me to children take a are holding, of. so so he was just like, "Hey, I was just doing lying. my job, shooting their right. <laughs> and you know, I I have no control." No, over it's that. not the photographer's fault necessarily. Yeah, that's but, a, yeah, yeah. I think, but it's crazy because nobody is focused in on that. Yeah, and yeah. Um, how did they it's get the that far? It's the creative director's fault. Yeah, it's it's everybody's fault and society too because people are more willing to ride on an individual person than they're riding on a company. 
So um, LeBron James in a press conference, they're asking him again about – he asked about something, and pretty much LeBron James was saying, I find it interesting that you guys are, for two, three weeks, had the nerve to ask and demand answers about the Kyrie and the Jewish community situation. But Jerry Jones was just spotted in a photo from when he was younger – at a white supremacist rally when he was younger. Mm. Yeah, and came across something. Things yeah, like too. Balenciaga just dropped yeah. essentially a pro it was like a, a pro child pornography mm. uh line or mm. shoot. And yeah. nobody has anything to say about that. Yeah. You don't want to ask me about that, but you want to ask about about Kyrie. About yeah. Kyrie and that yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. I think yeah. the uh, Jerry the Jones point? thing was uh I think he was at like um it was like uh, they were just do- getting into segreg- um, de- desegregating schools, mm-hmm. yeah. and he uh-huh. was like in a in a crowd of white people who were blocking the black kids from entering the school. Yeah. Right, that's what it was. Now and, I heard uh, you. That's what it oh, was. No, I was and say he say was like it. sixteen in high tenth yeah. grade. He's, yeah, six, fourteen to sixteen somewhere. Yeah, there. fourteen or sixteen somewhere yeah. in that range. So now his excuse, I heard his excuse was. He didn't really understand. He was a child. Was, yeah. yeah, I didn't really understand the full thing of the So now it's like. Yeah, how, how much do you believe that? Right, because I, I mean, that was around the time when it was normalized to fucking hate black people. You know? No, sure. You know, like every white person we can think about, like even every every celebrity and all that stuff. If they were like popping in the 1950s, you got to assume they were racist. I mean, that because yeah. that was just the way things were. You know? I don't totally know how to feel about those kinds of situations at this point because I, I guess that, um, I guess if okay, so also there was a point in time when everybody when it was normalized to be homophobic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, were like, I mean, you could argue you know, that we're still like to the tail end of that. Sure, for know? sure. No, for sure. Like, I'm, it's I'm, our generation it's of the last batch. Yeah, it's of, an like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think it's only reasonable that that community um, is patient with the adjustment time as long as yeah. there's as long as there's progress or whatever. If yeah. that's what they want, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I think that if if there is like, you know, you have to. There's a way to, to like introduce those kinds of things. I don't know. That, that's <laughs> yeah, all. yeah. Like, I, oh, you're talking about uh, specifically. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. But like but Balenciaga. Okay. I I really don't understand what the I don't even understand what the artistic M- merit is. Like what what do you? Like, yeah. Like I don't sh- understand. Like why? Like what what is? Well, this, this is the thing. Mm-hmm. I think they're just letting us know. I mean, I think that they're those upper echelon, those one percent. Or those half percent of America hiding people, in plain sight type of thing. Yeah, have this. It's such a common sick kink that we all share I mean, in this look, upper I mean, in this one percent of people. You know that. I, no, no, no. Hey, I, my home is gonna go crazy for this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, what because, saying? It, because it is a luxury line. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. So it's, it's like it super expensive clothing. If we was into some weird shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And I, and I made a shirt. Well, let's just use like the backwoods phenomenon. Like. Mm. All of us are in the backwoods. I'm gonna start printing backwood t-shirts and backwood and yeah. backwood sweats. Yeah. All the homies are gonna buy them. Yeah. But it just it feeds into the whole. But it feeds into pe- one of the sickest things, gate. though. It feeds into like how there is like this underground cult that are just of into sex that. trafficking and things yeah, of that nature. And, yeah, and yeah, sex yeah. trafficking is a part of that and all that stuff. And but then at the same time, it's like you really gotta wonder like why are we in a why are we in a a, a, a country at a nation that doesn't, that allows that. You know, sort of like uh, we allow like the KKK to still thrive. Like the KKK right. was never dismantled. Like the KKK is right, still a right. thing. It's a free speech thing. Oh, is it? That's that's what it's under? Yeah. I feel like that's where a lot of these groups still, that's the the little like They're, nook yeah. and yeah. the little that, that people fall into now is it's yeah. just free speech stuff. Well, okay, well then how come they didn't just let the Black Panthers just be a free speech thing too? Because when, when they were threatened. the Black Panthers... Yeah, but KKK is a threat too. Yeah, yeah well, but I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm but they're a threat to us. Threat. Yeah, yeah. Threat to yeah, us. yeah, you know yeah, how I'm speaking about it. That's like, their, yeah, they're, yeah. they're threatening. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Yes. We're terrorists. Well, brown people, right. so brown yeah. people do mm-hmm. terrorism. White people do like activism. They just need right, help. Right. Yeah, they just need help. Though. You know, yeah. you just but like all the school shooters and all like nobody would dare call him a terrorist. Exactly. Yeah. They just started using domestic terrorists recently. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And like we made them start using. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, yeah, right. it took a while for domestic terrorists to even be like Pop a phrase. Like, exactly. Yeah. And you still don't hear it as much as you should hear it. Yeah, because right. you know everybody still, saying? when they hear the word terrorist, they're like brown person in a turban. Exactly. Yeah, they're person, they're yeah. still <laughs> stuck on association with terrorists from 9-11. Yeah. Islam. Yeah. Which is crazy, yeah, too. And like, thank God. I almost think, sometimes I thought about that before where I was like, thank God I kind of always knew Middle Eastern people and Muslims. I always knew both That's sides. True. That's true, yeah. Because when 9-11 happened, bro, a lot of people hated 
Muslims, the folk and anybody crazy. from the Middle East. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. It was so ironic because it was like as the first time in history, black people, white people, every all everybody, America, it was like we were all American and we were all united oh, together. Yeah. Openly talking but it was, shit. Yeah, but we were all united in, in hating another race. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's it was. True. That's it true. was like that, though. No, was. that was the... Because it You're was like, crazy. We can agree on this. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. And then... Uh, it's so funny that we brought this up because literally there was something that just came out that said audio, a memo, a secret memo leaked like literally like yesterday or the day before George to George uh, to George Bush to where the question is, could he have prevented the 9-11 attacks? Mm. Some memo leaked. I don't yeah. know what the details of the memo were. Um, but yeah, I know what you're talking about. But yeah, I just yeah, seen yeah. it going certain. They had the, some intel apparently that maybe. There, apparently uh, there might have been some sort of intel where 9-11 yeah. could have been avoided essentially. Yeah. But, um... Who knows? But yeah, the I thing mean, about yeah. that is like, I mean, the yeah, way you have to go down the way the mayor got on the news in New York, um, and the way the president addressed it, he was like, "We were attacked." Us, us. It, mm-hmm. There was no more color. There was no color in that yeah, conversation right. in that president address. He said, "We were attacked today." American, Amer- America, we, Americans. Americans we're we were all today. We yeah. are all Americans. Yeah, it was on some Independence which is a pretty, Day speech. Which is a pretty. Shit. Um, I've looked at YouTube clips about that moment. Um, this year, actually, around 9-11, more than likely. Mm. And remember how we used to think George Bush was the worst president and then we got Trump? Mm, yeah. And so, like, there's, I feel like there's been just, like, re-spins of George W. Bush moments mm. on, like, uh, YouTube. And it was saying how, it was analyzing how George Bush um, informed the American people that we were attacked and the moment he found out that they were the twin towers were hit and the Pentagon was hit, because he was actually in elementary school, yep, reading the reading book. a book <laughs> for um, for uh, a, a elementary Just some school PR class. stuff, yeah, yeah some yeah, shit, yeah. 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 And it was like they're like dissecting how cool, calm, and collected he was in that moment. Mm-hmm. The speech that he delivered afterwards, and it's just like it's it is it is interesting to watch, like. Well, as a president, that's one thing I'll give George. But I mean, like, it could be cool, calm, and collected, or just a moment of like, holy shit. Yeah. What the fuck do I do? (laughs) George, George, I think George W. Bush Jr., I think that was. He was. I'll give him that. Like he was a cool. He was. He a cool handled it correctly. Man. He definitely yeah. handled it correctly. Yeah. And like, well, he was always. And then like, he rallied. He, a, he rallied America correctly. Too. Right. And it like it wasn't great for for the Islam. You know, people of, of the Islam nation. Right. You know, uh, but like, of course. But it it did. He did get Americans to agree. Yeah. To get behind like a yeah. stance. And it came come to find out. We all came to find out that. Actually, what they were doing was it was this crazy oil oil thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's why I was gonna say for and better like, or for worse. They just got because, us all like war monger. Because you could look at it like we, always, were, yeah, we were duped. Like, yeah, we were yeah. kind of duped as well. So. That's true. But yeah. they, they, I, I appreciate, but I appreciate the dream they sold us. Great, yeah. right? They got everybody no, we all were, horny we were, for we were, war. We were I've never been so horny for war in my life. Yeah, yeah and I was, and I was yeah, like fourteen. Bruh. Yeah. Yes, bro. Yeah. I was, I was, like, I was low key. Yeah, we yeah, need we to get over there, bro. Yeah, because yeah, they got us fucked up. Because that shit yeah. is crazy, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They hit us. So we got to hit them back. People just underestimate the fact that wars aren't fought on our land. <laughs> yeah, people fine, underestimate yeah. that Yo, so much, bro. That would change so much of the land. Do you understand what life would be? Yeah. If a fucking but tank was going down your street, oh, yeah. every city, town, and state was under martial law as a regular thing. That'd be crazy. <laughs> like be there are no police. There's there's soldiers. Yeah. Right, like, yeah. right, right. That's war crazy. Zone. Yeah, war it's zone. all it could it could get cracking at any moment. I can yeah, yeah I can't even imagine that. I all can't the, even imagine waking up just thinking like a fucking shell might come through my neighborhood. But see, but I think that's one reason why I think like why people are so heavily um inspired to do that to other nations you know like because it's like i don't think a lot of americans think about the fact that in other countries they do wake up to all that shit yeah. that you're just yes. talking about yes. yes oh yeah and we're usually a part of that whatever war it is and then innocent people are bystanders are getting killed and all that stuff That's and we can still be over here doing a podcast yeah. well, this know? is the like, sick and twisted part of that mm. in order to maintain this we have to do a certain there's a base level of we need to flatten, we need to level a couple places. Yes. There's a certain level of leveling that needs to cons- consistently take place yes. to let these niggas know we are not to be played with. That is our at war all policy. Time. Well, you yeah, have to, yeah. There why, has to be not? constant reminders. Our policy is to always be the aggressor. We yes, swing first. Yeah. Yes. We you don't wait first. for something to happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We come over there and we level everything and we yeah. never leave. Now. Right. If yeah. it's looking yeah. for yeah, you, yeah. like everywhere. Yeah, yeah we have a a base. In every. But that's called a monopoly. So it's a savage. Yeah. And it's, I mean, when you play the game, Board game risk. Mm-hmm. I never understood war as much as that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like yeah. That's a vicious 
Savage game too. It's a Savage game. It's just yeah. like chess, but it's with you. If y'all play War War before, oh, what, is it called Risk, War? Risk, Risk, Risk. I'm tripping. Yeah, Risk. yeah War is a game too. I think, but yeah. yeah. So what? I think War is another board game that's like a, like a knockoff of it. Yeah, yeah, but pretty much it's the map and. You roll dice, you have soldiers, soldier count, you have to protect your borders between North America, South America, um, Europe, Russia, Africa. You maintain, when you maintain an entire continent, you get more soldiers on every turn. Like, And keep in mind that we also use their resources and take their oil and, and all that stuff. And, you know, right. so, so then the question also becomes like, well, are we the good guys in all this? Not really. Uh, so we're fine with being Lex Luthor. I've kind of come to terms with that. We're <laughs> well, really it, it's not. like we're, right now, it's like America is like Lex Luthor cosplaying as Superman. Yeah. There's got to <laughs> be... I'm, I only have one perspective because I've only been American my whole life, of course. Um, yeah. But we definitely do have a strong arm bully thing that we kind of do, for sure. But uh, I mean, uh, when yeah. you think about it, it has to be that way. Yeah, because we're the only ones allowed to, to um, drone strike people. Yeah, yeah. it has to yeah, be Yeah, we have way. all it's the exclusive toys. exclusive right. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. other people have drones and stuff, but we yeah, don't. Yeah. If a, like, pff, go ahead. We're like, but America's stance yes. is always like, go ahead, use them. See what happens. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Use it. Yeah, yeah. 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 go ahead, yeah. use it. See what we do. See what happens. Because But we use them over there. Right. If yeah, we'll use our shit. We'll test our shit out on anybody else's So I think MF Doom said that one time. He's like, uh, that's like taking somebody's gun, shooting them, and saying, "Get the stepping." Right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, literally. We have that kind of power. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you you don't get to use it, but me. <laughs> right. And I think a lot of people, um, a lot of people underestimate. That's why it's just like certain people. I was talking to my little sister, and I was kind of telling her about, and me and Shane talked about it earlier when we were shooting. Talking about how, like, when you're extreme left, you're fucking annoying. You oh, know what I'm saying? yeah. Yes. Because a certain yeah. level of, there's a certain level of savage. It's like y'all are under, a lot of people on the left and are hippies or holistic, y'all underestimate why we have so much freedoms. Yeah. Because of how cruel we are to, to, yeah. the, to, the, to the other places. <laughs> because we're, because we're warmongers. Yeah. It. It's a fucked up way of saying it, but yeah, yeah. there's yeah. a certain level, the, the first world problems, another way yeah. of saying yeah, it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, Where yeah. it's like, right, right. The fact that you could be so bored that you could mm. complain about this, yeah. but you have no idea that every single day there's that. people who want to level America. Yeah. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? And us strong arming the entire globe yeah. <laughs> yeah. is the reason you get to be so free. Yeah. yeah so so it's, uh, to me, like that's the greatest irony because it's just yeah. like in order for us to have this, we have to do terrible things. So yes. it just becomes a matter of like, well, we have to accept the terrible things in order to have the free... To have the freedom right. that we have. Yeah. You know? This is what had to happen. And I think, yeah. and I think, and I understand, whatever, I understand yeah. when some people, even dudes, they're like, you know, when just people just think if all of us just got along, yeah. but that's never going to happen. History yeah. has never shown everybody getting along. Right. Not even, yeah. Why are you even hanging your hat to on that the possibility degree. Uh, to, to that degree. To that, it, to it that depends degree what where people mean by we could have along. borderless open, we could yeah. just be open borderless where, yeah. okay, like you know what I'm saying? To where like, there's no war. You know oh, what I'm okay, saying? Yeah, right. It's impossible. It is. It's, yeah. it's literally well, at I, this I point. Think, and I think some people like, oh, the only thing with me is just like, I just want to know what the war is about. Like, wh- who, who is getting rich from this war? Because we also have to keep in mind that uh, it's, it is people risking their life first to protect this country. That's what, yes, true. That's the, people in the military have been conditioned into that thought. That yeah, 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 yeah. You are, all, whenever you fight for us, you are fighting for the right reasons. For freedom. Yeah, right, so right. So then right. there are other people who are just questioning if that's true or not. Yeah. You know, now, you know like, what some savage the shit that I've seen? The war we're going in. Now, some savage shit that I've seen, and this is just the whole how to keep a team in order, power, and stuff like that. I've seen some stories where, like, a Marines team is organizing a plan, right? And the plan that they're organizing, everybody knows, the team people know, this is going to get half of our platoon killed. Yeah. But if we do it this way, we can save 34% of our people that we're about to go into this war with. And the higher ups in the military are just like, you do what the fuck I told you to do. Mm. Like, and then it turns out to, so I was watching this one story where I can't remember what it was, but it was a guy, and he was in some sort of, like, special mission group where, I mean, they're banging shit up. You know, they're shooting shit up, long story short. Mm-hmm. And their captain put together a plan that would get half, if not all of them, killed. None of them were with it. The captain said, shut the fuck up and do it anyway because you followed orders. And what ended up happening was they got ambushed just like they thought, lost 80% of their team, and he broke rank to go back and try to save them. And he only saved, like... 20% of the people that went there and the only reason 
And he got a he got a medal of honor for it. Pretty. It much. sounds like that Mark Wahlberg movie. Which one? maybe that's what it is then. Which one? Because I know I saw um, the the actual guy do an interview oh. about it. Is it Lone Survivor? I don't know, but I saw the actual guy do an interview about it. But they might have made a movie out of it that Mark Wahlberg starred mm. in. <laughs> Mark Wahlberg starred in a lot of like pro American movies. It was yeah. like that Lone Survivor, Patriot Day, yeah. with the bombing that I mean, happened in Boston. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. He did the Boston yeah, bombing, yeah, yeah. bombing, yeah. Boston, Boston, bombing, bombing. Deep Water something where it was like a Deepwater water Horizon, thing. something like that. Yeah, where he you playing American hero. So yeah, 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 he was yeah. always playing an American hero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he likes playing that role. But but like we also have to to keep in mind too that it, when when it comes to going to war, it's probably easy easy for us to say in this day and age because we're not living in a time where we could be drafted at any moment. That's true. That's because true. Because in the 1950s, us sitting here, like you you get That's out of true. school, it's just be like, true. hey. Whether you can no, fight or not, a, you're going to war. Yeah, there was a moment <laughs> when all hands were on deck. Yeah, true. All we men be, of yeah. age are getting the fuck up out of here. Yeah. When you yeah. were to fight, because today you lose, can choose to yeah. join the military, but was back that, then you was, had no was choice. There a rule, was there a rule with that where if you were the only son, you didn't have to go or something like that? Probably. I think so. I think Probably. There, was, yeah. Yeah. there were definitely certain, certain stipulations. Yeah. O- over a certain age, under mm-hmm. a certain age, and like um, the certain things health about conditions, health. of course. But I think they course. took half. Of, I think they, I think they lowered more health things though. Oh yeah, yeah. If it was, you know what if I'm saying? Because like, like, yeah. right now they, the army won't take you if you have flat feet. Apparently, you know stuff <laughs> like that. Asthma, flat feet. Yeah, yeah. asthma, yeah. flat well, you, feet. They do check a lot of your your vi- your like. Yeah, yeah so I think certain, bad vision is an L. In yeah, the military. so certain stuff, yeah. certain stuff like that would have you counted out. But I bet all those little things. They're like, we don't give a fuck. Put a gun in his hand. Put a vest on. Exactly. I don't yeah. know the stipulations of it or how much they'll let you get by. And I'm sure it's way more detailed when it's like actual war, t- or less detailed when it's actual wartime. Yeah, it's exactly. Like, we just yeah. need We you. need men to you know hold these guns yeah. and shoot. We just yeah. need you So, right so then it changes the dynamic of 9-11 because it's just like how pro-war we were in that time. It's like, yeah, let's go get them. It's like, yeah, you're going to fight. Oh. Because they do yeah. check. Like, like if, if drafting was a thing in 2001. <laughs> you know? well, yeah, I can war, imagine they don't check anything during the draft. Like, fuck it, nigga, we need. No, you. yeah, as yeah, long as it's not really just, bad. Yeah, it's just uh, so then older, we young, been in the war. only son. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> because I would have been it. the right age around that time. So I was seventeen. And I mean, Muhammad Ali went to war because he wouldn't go to draft. He went. He went to jail because he, he, jail wouldn't, jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he wouldn't fight. But what I'm saying is, like, imagine imagine if that was like withheld, you know, through the decades and all that shit. Like, I felt like that would have changed our perspective. On war and that and would, just military when you can go at any moment, yeah, because we right. have that yeah. luxury now of just, of just we are not fighting. So yeah, yeah shout out to all the soldiers though. Yes. I appreciate y'all. Yeah, and yeah. that's the thing because yeah. I, I appreciate y'all. Y'all do yes. for me to live this life, Big time. literally. No, because Big they time, are bro. real. Y'all out there flat. They are down. real heroes. Like yeah. they act like anybody who is joining the military for those reasons of. Um, I'm trying country. to protect the country. Those people are actually heroes because yeah. I always try to separate like not supporting the war but supporting the troops, you know? Yes. So yeah, true, I cannot true, true. support the war because this is just going to benefit rich people in the end. Right, um, right. But I you support, see the underlining, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. in the end, it's for their gain and all that right. stuff. And, and this is like power struggle shit that has nothing to do with us in, in the long run. True. Um, you know, they're just trying to, you know, it's like they're a dick measuring contest that we're just being on the front lines for. That's true, that's but, true. But those soldiers, like, they're putting their lives on the line for us. Like, they're, they're fucking Steve Rogers type shit. You know? Yeah, like, facts. They're facts. Captain America's. Yeah, so yeah. I always try to tip my hat to people who are that brave. Like, right, right. Not literally. everybody's that brave. I yeah, wish cops were like that. Yeah, especially <laughs> the ones the, who go uh, into those, like, all aspects and uh, regions of the military are highly important. Yeah. But the ones that are, like, especially the ones, those guys who are, like, really like that, Will be like Marines and Navy yeah. SEALs and shit. Oh, sure. yeah, like yeah, you, yeah. you're not in there. Not just the air. Trying to c- control something from a distance. Mm-hmm. You literally want to be there. You want to be the first to land. Yeah. And start clearing out for the military for the for the army to they're come like, in. Hoorah. Next. Like yeah. God damn, bro. Yeah. Like yeah. you're built different to yeah. be able to <laughs> yeah. to to that to that level of fighting. Now I do no, understand right. that there are some people who are just. You know, just joining that so they can kill people. <laughs> it's but, a culture. But we appreciate thing, them because we need yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, 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 in the end, it's still you know you're still going out there and putting your life on the line. So, right, so right. I think For middle, real. <laughs> middle and southern America have large enough populations of people that they are supporting our whole ass army. Yeah. Um, because which is interesting. Yeah, there is. I'm pretty sure there's a direct correlation between higher education and military. Um, Absolutely. In like in the Absolutely. deep south, places like that, the whole culture is different more, around military. Yeah, way you more people are joining family. the military in the south. Yeah, like than yeah. Up North Carolina, Eastern North Carolina, man, those people like you come from military families. It's like you know, yeah. it's just it's just what it is. And the you, south is religion and patriotism. Yeah, in, and in so the they yeah. they see they see the valor in it, and so they it's just totally when you're when you're raised to see it a different way, you're like.
like, yeah, yeah. I'm going. Yeah. You know, I'm yeah, yeah. I'm going to protect America. Mm-hmm. But for me, it's like I, my grandpa was in the army, army but but then my my parents didn't raise me to value, you know, military, military service in the same way. Yeah. Service, yeah, and so it was like they they like education was more important to them. So therefore, right. that's what I did. Right. You know, it's, and so it's like if you, I think that's that's what the difference is. It's yeah. like the military is a lot of people's first. Um, the military is a lot of people's first. Or a lot of people's. Uh, it's a good option for a lot of people, man. It's a good option yeah. for to fix like a lot, the best to fix option. a lot of people's families. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. trying to pretty much figure out how I want to. It's say, the best like, of the best can, option of like a bad scenario of whatever. a better life. Yeah, yeah. And it does give you a window to a better life because you can go into the military, you find a wife. They actually incentivize marriage yep. in the military. You get you a wife. Both of y'all are trying to excel. Yep. In the military, you're setting up your kids' college funds. Look, you get a you get a Camaro. By, you yeah, know what I mean? you get like, you a Camaro. You get you a house. <laughs> you get you, you get a you F one fifty lifted. Two, you get two in, dual incomes. Hey. And you start growing from there no, to you where get crazy true. benefits. Yeah, right. you can oh, and yeah, you yeah. can come from the fucking yeah. trenches. You know what I'm saying? Build, oh, build to where you later. just had like cockroaches your entire life and change your life by going there. Yep. It's a good starting point for people fixing yep. and giving, and some, giving they're themselves like, a generational chance. They're like USAA is like one of the best banking options you can oh, yeah. choose to. Oh, yeah. You, know what I'm saying? Like, you will get a loan. Okay, you bro. Get that's why it's You'll crazy. get all that shit, yeah. That's why it's crazy when... Remember that police officer Mace, that black dude that was in fucking uniform? I think I remember that. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. When the police officers... At cr- when the police officers power trip on military, those oh, videos they, they go crazy. Oh, that's the those are the one videos where I feel like equally everybody's like the police are fucking bugging out here. You know uh, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, right, because right, right, that right. even pisses that pisses all military personnel. So yep. first of all, the people protecting you, yeah, yeah, yeah you to have be a, a police. You officer. have literally <laughs> assaulted them. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, you got them fucked up. Number yeah, one, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, no then everybody who respects what those people do for us. Right. Are looking at you crazy. Are looking at you crazy. So, right. yeah, They're it's actually like actually serving. A now this is fucked up to say, but it's almost like we definitely need more police. To, I feel like that might get make the biggest change. Right. Actually, what? a police power trip on people in uniform more often. Oh, the, each other. Wait, what do you mean? If, po- yeah. if, po- if yeah. nine to five police officers yeah. trip on military personnel. Oh, you want more of that? You say. It's fucked up to say. I don't, want it, I don't saying, want it to happen at all. You were yeah. saying that would that would definitely turn the heads. That would turn. I think heads. that would. Oh. I think that would change things okay. the quickest. Okay. Okay. It's yeah, changing the narrative because everybody equally yeah. be like, "Yo, you are tripping." You know yeah. what I'm saying? They look at the police and right. So if police way. officers keep abusing their power. Yeah. When dealing with our military, I feel like that would put a crack down on yeah. a lot of uh, corrupt police. Corrupt police. Yeah, because sure. like because sure. a lot of white people who are patriot, uh, uh, patriotic. They, don't um, they also support the police. Yes. So if the one right. attacks the other, that's going to put them in a position to choose. Yes. Right. And it's I think they're and if you choose. don't choose the military, everybody's yeah, going to be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, There's no right. way you can't choose the military and choose the police over the military. Yeah. There's no way. Yeah. That's right. That yeah. True. So it would put them in an interesting predicament. That's one of the that's one of the core values of conservatism. Right? Yeah, like yeah. This whole thing. It's like mommy and daddy fighting. Who do you choose? Right. <laughs> oh my God, yo! Um, we're going, we're going up on Instagram. Number one. Oh, nice. Oh, number one, eleven point nice. one, eleven point two k. Oh, fire! On oh, the, nice. um, the Olsen twins. <laughs> somebody just, somebody just commented. Um, do, let's see. Do, 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 do. <laughs> There's a reason why lames like this never get airtime. They talk too damn much. <laughs> what? What? Somebody is on, mad on at the, uh, on the on the. Somebody just commented also that. Yes, it's a yeah. it's a reason why dudes. It's a reason why lame dudes like this never get airtime. They talk too damn much. Let me get a response to you, fuck nigga. Um, oh, so it's a we guy. We appreciate you <laughs> commenting <laughs> because it's always funny about you, you niggas that hate us. Mm. You be helping us go up. You don't understand. We're winning right now. We're winning, nigga. Every two weeks, I'm getting a post that's getting at least 20K plus. That's number one, right? Stop playing with us. We're doing all right. We're hitting on a bi-weekly schedule. Can you talk every about time, it? Bro, every time y'all get mad, y'all don't realize y'all done gave us a view. And you done boosted the engagement. It don't even by, matter that you didn't like the content. post. 
It doesn't even matter that you didn't like the post. The comment is worth 10 times more than a like is. Yeah. That's what y'all so don't comment, get. So basically you're saying comment again. <laughs> yeah, please comment again because I'm about to reply to you. Yeah. I might Sorry, reply, we didn't hear you. <laughs> I'm probably going to reply to this with this Stitch video yeah. because we appreciate you. Fuck you, you a hoe. And, and uh, we appreciate you. You Make sure you keep commenting, hoe ass nigga. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Because I personally would like to know why you're riding so hard for the Olsen twins anyway. <laughs> like, what oh, the yeah. fuck? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah, what did you say? Why are you so invested at yeah. this point? Yeah, yeah, wait, yeah. Nigga, this was a 30-second combo we had on the podcast. I just knew to put it out, and we got you We got you mad. Right. Yeah. I, I know the Olsen twins was I that mean, sensitive of a topic. If they are servicing, if they are servicing the L.A. area right. with that white girl, they seem to be doing a great job. Exactly. I don't think anybody's complaining. We ain't so never like, heard about no I'm arrest. Not, yeah, I'm not like, come on, man. I, I'm, I'm, it was just, hey, it was just commentary. I'm getting yeah. hot. I don't know if y'all are getting a little warm. It is warm in here, right? I think that might be a factor in this, too. Yeah, I started getting a little toasty. It's, it's 80 79. Degrees. It's almost 80 degrees. Damn, yeah. Yeah. it's toasty in this. Yeah, that's kind of. I think if it was cooler in here, that wouldn't be dying so much. Right, yeah. yeah. It's crazy, man. North Carolina weather, man. What the fuck? Well, that heat is doing pretty good right it's now. It's probably it's cold outside. Oh, is that, that's it's what cold it is? outside. It's oh, that heat. Okay. Is weird, All right, yeah, yeah. Weird oh, no, no, no. No, no, yeah. I totally forgot. I didn't realize we was at 80 degrees. God damn. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's what you mean. Yeah, that's I totally forgot you had the heat. Yeah, I, t- I totally forgot you had the heat on. Like, yeah, I heard it, but it was just like it didn't even dawn on me. Yeah, I don't yeah, think I, I can chill in 80. Yeah. For sure. Well, what was you just talking about? Olsen twins. Uh, oh, yeah, serving that white girl. Yeah. White girl serving that white girl. Right. Yeah, yeah. Slow right. money serving that slope shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to the greater yeah. L.A. area. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that probably is what it is, though, bro. They yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were doubling down. But that um <laughs> Yeah. That yeah, that would that's not that far fetched. And and again, I don't know why that person is really just, you know, uh protecting them so so hard, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this but nigga's really mad. It is. It's just commentary, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm 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 does he know them? Is it like, I just love I love when people be like, um I seen a couple comments, niggas be like, Y'all just be talking. Yes, that's exactly what we're doing. That is what a podcast Actually, is, yeah. That's actually what we'd be doing. That's, it's just talking. And there had, doesn't have to be a means to an end around here. That's what I'm saying. We are just getting shit off. We're just, we're just, everybody's just, just living out their little bits of their narcissistic, narcissistic tendencies. That's it, man. You know what I mean? And it's this just, video's still going crazy. Yeah, it's you know at, what I mean? It's, it's, it's at 12.2 now. It's going up. Yeah, and, and one, in two minutes. Yeah, it's going up. Which is so funny because why isn't it going on TikTok? Hmm. I don't know. But you know what? I did miss one hashtag. I missed the doc- I missed the Dr. Umar Johnson hashtag on uh, TikTok. And I feel like that was a good separator as well. That could be the case. That, that was a good separator. But well, we all know that um But yeah. I'll redo it. I'll it, it, repost that bitch if I need to. The way to. that Instagram I hope he fucks comments up so on much, the thought process right. really is like if it pops on Instagram, it should pop everywhere. Yeah, yeah hell yeah. I'm definitely under that thought <laughs> process. Yeah. Instagram so got so much bullshit going on with the algorithm <laughs> yeah. that if I get any post with good reception, like anything is possible on every other platform. <laughs> Facts. Like Facts. anything yeah. is possible because damn, bro, y'all really be tripping with the likes. But it is starting to kind of feel like um, Instagram is only rewarding me now when I post twice a day or when I'm posting crazy consistently. Where like I'm about to start doing one or two a day where I don't even give a fuck, bro. If it's 11:30 at night and I feel like posting some shit because I just edited it, it. Yeah. I'm gonna post it. And yeah. Then, who gives a fuck? I don't think it really matters, yeah. I don't think it matters no more. I don't care about no peak times. The only thing that I won't do is like dumb early, like 5, 6 a.m. I'll do 8 or 9. Because they're still going to wake up to it either way. Yeah, I'll do yeah, 8 or 9, I but I don't want to do 5 or 6 a.m. That might be a little mm-hmm. too early. But midnight is not too late no more. Yeah. No, like, no, no. Midnight's not too and late. The latest I'll post is like 11.30 yeah. or some shit. And especially with the reels, if you did them that early, remember the reels are more, even more so about... Instant engagement and recency, you know. So right, like right. Nobody is, you know, up by five. Like uh, everybody's probably just gonna miss that shit. <laughs> right. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. High skate life. People with nothing else to do. You goddamn right. We bored as hell. Just like you bored. Commenting <laughs> on this shit. What's up with you niggas, bro? This the, this, the, this the response segment. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You responded yeah, yeah. to comments. Yeah. Since yeah. we're going yeah, viral, yeah, yeah. as we as we podcast live, since we're going viral. They're giving yeah. you content. Yeah, uh, you appreciate you. Or giving us content. Ho-ass nigga. You don't even got a profile picture. <laughs> uh-huh. At least the other nigga wasn't, was, wasn't hiding. You ugly. That's yeah, why at least the other nigga wasn't hiding. You got three followers, oh, zero yeah. likes, and no profile pictures. You a hoe, too. 
<laughs> that shit is funny to me. Let me screenshot this shit. Lot. Right, I know. Yeah, <laughs> screenshot it just we're talking to it goes away. If we were, yeah, if we were yelling, at, yelling at bots, bots right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like shit. Man yells at the internet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they don't, that's awesome. when they, when they awesome don't get Joe so Budden, specific. Uh, like, this is stupid. It's <laughs> 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 like, oh, okay, that's a bot. <laughs> yeah, that's that is funny true. So, yeah. bro, I've been wondering that with YouTube as well. I'm just like when I used to like. You know, comment a lot on people who would say like ignorant shit, and I'm like, now it had me thinking. It's like, man, was that thirteen point one now? Like talking to a person. <laughs> it's going up, nigga. Yeah. Bill Cosby, though, man, anything is possible. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. let's see. What else is on the list for today? Uh, yeah. Is there? There's a couple other things on there, but where are we at right now? Because we got a pretty good episode right, right uh, so far. One twenty two. Okay, because I don't want to do crazy long. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Either just because we already got no, we already got two this week. Oh yeah, I yeah. Gotta, right, I gotta yeah. go to the crib. Niggas got shit to do. You know else. what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. I feel like we covered the good stuff. Uh, I do want to say, I guess I do want to mention Kanye West real quick. So this is the thing that I realized really is annoying about the whole Kanye West. He got suspended off of Twitter. Who gives a fuck? Mm-hmm. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Again. But you know Again. what? The, you Who know what, what I think is, is probably one of the most annoying things in all this and this new recent cancel culture thing is. Uh, I don't know what you're gonna say because you said it in the message. Go ahead though. Yeah, bro. It really? is so lame how all the niggas that are click canceled up. hang out. They that shit that is the, so. What? That is so whack to me. It make like a like a tribe of yeah, L like takers. Yeah, culture the f- people click up like take yeah. click up with. Who did take click up with? He clicked the, up with a few people. Tate clicked up with a few with Sneeko people. for a little bit. And Sneeko. Doing, yeah. Sneeko. Yeah, but yeah. he's moving. Sneeko will jump with anybody that'll... Sneeko is thirsty for any... Yeah. Anybody that'll have Any him. look, he yeah. is yeah. on yeah. it. Yeah. He don't give a fuck. Yeah, he yeah. don't give a damn. Sneeko's on anything. He don't even have to say anything. He'll just Nick, sit there. Nick Fuentes, <laughs> Kanye West, Alex Jones. This is like, damn. Mm-hmm. Y'all niggas are the lamest group. This is like the lamest <laughs> yeah. group of, of friends yeah. I've ever seen. They get together, like, lick each other's wounds. Yeah, And it's like, it's it's really sad. It's so lame, bro. it's very sad. It's just weird, like... Yeah. And I'm glad Andrew Tate was linking up with people a little bit in the beginning, but he's actually still doing better than everybody else because yeah. he's getting on national TV shows. Sure. Mm-hmm. First of all, Piers Morgan. Also, shout out to Piers Morgan. This nigga is everywhere. He is everywhere, but I hate, his inter- I hate his interview style. I, I hate, hate his everywhere. interview yeah. style, yeah, too. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he gets, but did you see he interviews some, wherever they're hosting the World Cup right now? Mm. No, he no, interviews no. somebody because they keep having these reports in whatever country. Sorry for all the World Cup Qatar. people. <laughs> Qatar. Um, where apparently they're saying in the construction of the World Cup and pre- preparation, thousands of people have died in the construction. That's what they say. That's a fact. So Piers Morgan went out there. He was in their country. So he, he did not yeah, he have that same energy. Out there. He did not have that same energy. That's number you'll, one. So you'll let me just disappear, man. There. Yeah, you will disappear out there. You will fuck around and disappear out there. But he didn't <laughs> have that same energy. But whoever he was interviewing, the guy was like, Probably five to six hundred or four to six hundred people have died. He could be softening those numbers or whatever. And Pierce try to like pin him down. He say one life is too many. He's <laughs> like, but four to five hundred, that's a lot. He said, like I said, one life is too many. I said, <laughs> I said, I'm <laughs> fuck with this shit. <laughs> it's like you're not finna out talk this dude in his own country, yeah, especially yeah. these type of men. You know what right, I'm saying? Yeah, like right, no. Yeah, yeah. In their Muslim guy, you ain't finna go crazy. And, <laughs> and he wasn't gonna finna talk crazy to him. Yeah. Because it could go left at any moment. Bro, that's like that's <laughs> a like thing that they do. Is, yes, is kill right. journalists. Journalism is one of their favorite <laughs> things. Yeah, right? Yeah. You are yeah. favorite talker. But when I saw him out there, I was like, Yeah, this boy Pierce is working recently, boy. He, yeah, he just uh, yeah. took a one the, the yeah. first flight out there. <laughs> Ever since Andrew Tate, I'm like, boy, you <laughs> everywhere, right? Boy, you popping up out of yeah. out of nowhere. I keep seeing your shit coming hey, up. They need left content too. Yeah, he's, <laughs> shout out to him. I mean, he's go, he's going crazy. Yeah. It's lame how he does things, but I'm not mad at nobody going crazy and going yeah. viral like, like that. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, he's killing it. I'll yeah. give it to me. Yeah, he's taking crazy content. He's taking. He's going. He's going hard with the content. I'm thinking yeah. he is he the one that just interviewed the guy. Okay, have y'all seen this? Is this white guy? Is this British white guy? And he decided that he wanted to be transracial, wanted to become a Korean pop star. Yeah, no, actually, uh, you know what I'm talking about. This guy, I think, I think something I saw London. It. I put it as something a, London, the, Billy London or something. Uh, I can't oil remember. London. What is it? Oil London. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oil. So, so he, okay, so he transitioned. He tried to. He got a bunch of plastic surgery and all this stuff, and transitioned trans, trans to become a Korean woman. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yes, yeah, so he's swinging for the fences. All right. So here's crazy. Here's crazy. <laughs> all right. He did that. That he didn't really get accepted because Korean culture is not all that accepting. So I think maybe he figured that out. He pivoted, <laughs> turned around, and now he's going on conservative talk networks. And now he's saying that he's now 
a British man again, Are and now he's talking me? against transgenderism in schools the and all. What is happening? I'm, I'm kidding. I lost saying, count just now. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, wait, exactly. wait, what? And he's saying the how like his happening? school, how he went to public school and it indoctrinated him, and that's why he had that struggle. Oh and, my god! And, like, and now I'm to the point where I'm like, I think Pierce interviewed him. He's clout chasing like a monster. He's trying to recoup from all surgeries. That shit was expensive, bro. He's throwing anything at the wall to see what sticks. That's what. That's another thing too, bro. Trying to recoup from surgery. Don't people that. That's the thing, bro. Them people that be like canceled and just be wild like that, bro. They position be switching so much, yeah. doubling back. They just be doing whatever they can to stay in the headlight and hope yeah. people like them for the next take. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. it be so thirsty. You can just feel the desperation. Off because I didn't yeah, understand I anything that you were just saying. I'm like, you know what? You're you just need to sit down somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> you know, bro. Like, I, hope, I don't know what you're doing. Why do you even <laughs> expect us to keep up with this goofy shit that you're doing? Too much, bro. right? This is too much, man. You're I'm, doing I'm, too much. I totally agree. It's, it's like you can't. You can't expect people to keep up with that. It's yeah, like, bro, that's, that's a hell crazy. of a storyline. Yeah, I don't even know what they're for, what they're against. They're like, yeah, I, 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 yeah. I don't if, know so, if saying. you haven't seen them before, no, I recommend you Google a picture. I, I'm trying, okay. I, what do you say? Is Oil London? Oil London, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's he. Homie is a mutant. Right yeah. He has made. He is. He is. He has destroyed his face. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. He's, he's trying to get like slanted eyes. Yeah, because like, he for real. He yeah, tried to become yeah. a Korean woman, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. But, but trying to transition back to well, and then now he's yeah now he's now he's a, now oh, he's a man. So again. now he just even doesn't My even God. look human. Right so, now he doesn't even look now human. Now he's double anymore. back, doubling back. Yeah, bro, it's like a monster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. It's getting crazy out in these streets. It's not a good look. And, yes. and, and it's just trying to transition from... Now that. he's going from that back to back to. So you have now to he's open manicured. your eyes back again. <laughs> it's like, oh, right. Okay, wow. Well. <laughs> right. He looked but, like June Tao, Loki. Chill so, out. Oh, Yo, June Tao. Oh, oh. <laughs> he looked like June Tao, bro. From uh, what you call it? Yeah. Hey, everybody. <laughs> hey. I don't, I don't condone bullying, but anybody, <laughs> that one person viewing right now, <laughs> go to his page and spam June Tao. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Oh, you know what Spam June the, Tao. It's that post surgery picture that you showed. He did look like June Tao. He did, yeah, bro. Because I met a dude with the blood at, coming from the eye. I met a the, dude the, in yeah, downtown Raleigh that actually face. looked more like June Tao. I remember you but that. Me. Oh yeah, you're right. Picture, you told me. Yeah. I told you about that. Yeah. I was like, and I I had to tell him, bro. And I was <laughs> I like, bro, I mean, yeah. don't think I'm like. Yeah, being racist. Don't, don't, don't think yeah. I think all Asians look. You look like specifically at all. like but this you look Asian like this guy. man, and I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, and his Asian homeboy was like, he for sure does. Yeah, 100%. so then you're not wrong. Yeah, I was like, just need but, you but you had, that. that was good, but you had to make sure that yeah. you weren't just racially profiling him. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. Just I'm like, not, you look I'm not like coming at specific. you with some. You look like you look like Michael Jordan. Not generalizing here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some dumb shit like that. Yeah, no, I agree. But yeah, we'll wrap it up though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank y'all. For going crazy last week, getting us lit. It was up last week. Uh, if it's up, if it's up, if it's up. If it's up. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, my God. What's wrong? Last thing. What? Arizona polygamous cult leader Samuel Bateman has 20 wives. Had 20 wives. Oh, have. Most under age 15. Oh. And where, by the way? You know what? I Utah. Don't know. I don't know. I'm guessing. Nope. Washington. <laughs> FBI filed uh, Friday in uh, Washington accused Samuel Rappy Lee. Okay, his la- his middle name is crazy. Wait, what? It's R A P P Y L E E. It almost is telling us that he rapes people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> rapy Lee. 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 Rapely, yeah, I mean, Rapely, r- r- rape daily. It almost feels like it almost rape, feels like he was daily? birthed into this title. Yeah, yeah. you know, Just what because I'm of the last name. Forty six was accused of incest, groups oh. of sex involving adults, children, some as young as nine. And sex oh, yeah, yeah, 20 wives. Uh, yeah, and sex tra- oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some oh, yeah. as young I mean, as nine. Yeah, but see, but that's even beyond pop, just polygamy. that's different. Yeah, yeah, it's that's like incest. That's more where somebody's sh- his like daughter. Shit. Yeah, see, so that's see these like, are the niggas that we should hang. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Oh, but we see, but these hang. these are some people who are in in the toppest places, in high places and shit. See, I think he's yeah. he strikes me as more of a he's a top in town. Mm-hmm. But you know, we don't know if this he could be a cult leader, but he could be broke too. Mm-hmm. Like cult leader don't mean you rich. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So you trying to tell me that dude had 20 wives? Right. Yeah, but they were. But all when underage, you're getting them under nine, I yeah, mean, yeah, who's gonna say yeah. no? Yeah, like if women you know who like had a taste and have it's had more taste of a talent have to have a. It's like, more of a talent course, he would have. If I had like four chicks of age, like 
that yeah. were 25 or 30 that all were like cool with me being that would a be an achievement that would be more of like yeah you did that yeah, but here, like, yeah. they made yeah. that you know consensus <laughs> yeah there ain't no that, skill when you're pulling nine year olds yeah, you know yeah. What I'm right. they don't right. fucking you're know anything groomer. you're a professional yeah, yeah. groomer what the yeah. fuck yeah, yeah. yeah, no, yeah it's, it's like how did you that's even true. how are you end up in these rooms so they all just fell for me what can I tell you yeah you can kind of look however you want when they're that young it doesn't nothing matters at that point yeah so it makes sense that he would yeah yeah where do you even Get the, I don't even you, know where you find a bunch right, of nine-year-olds. Do I don't know, bro. Willing parents that are, relie- exactly. like, yeah. that are releasing that's, their that's children. That's another thing. I don't even know. How do you even begin to explore this kink? That's why I asked you. And like, not go to jail. It's just so risky. It's cra- it's, it's yeah. ridiculous. I like, imagine it's always... And that's why you have to tie it into a religion most of the time. And then that's yeah. when their parents become willing to... So that oh, they're that's all true. Brainwa- that's that's true. true. Brainwash the mind Religion the can be first. used that way. Yeah. 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 God said so. <laughs> right. Yeah, to, yeah, true. You can use that sentence for anything. Call yourself a prophet. I would like. I feel like the moment that came out of my mouth, some shit like calling myself a prophet. I just feel like I'm gonna get struck by lightning when I walk outside. Or something. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't even dare. Or I just swear. some something bad karmically just happened. Yeah. <laughs> like even even the way that rappers say that they're like gods. That that even to me, I'm thinking like, are you gonna get struck by lightning, my guy? Yeah. yeah fast. Yeah. Fast. I mean, nobody's <laughs> like, nobody's immortal, my bro. Yeah. yeah I, mean, like, I guess I'm just super relax. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, I'm like, relax. Right. It's not that big. Yeah. yeah you're not going that crazy. Yeah. Right. I did see uh, a, like a, a video about like. How come a lot of rappers do have like a Jesus uh, yeah, but God complex? God complex, yeah. you know, because and they just showed the imagery of how many rappers have taken a picture of themselves with horns with blood coming mm. down. Kendrick has done it. Kanye has done it. Um, you know, it's, it's interesting. You know, it's like they're putting themselves. It's probably in the position. hard though because the way that people treat you and stuff when you you know what right. I mean? yeah, when thinking. you come to that level, yeah. you start when feeling you, like when Jesus. you come to that level and literally every doors are opening before you get into the room. You know what I mean? Like. Mm-hmm. People are just changing who they are around you because right. of who you are. Like that's why it's like that's why I can understand a Justin Bieber just losing his goddamn mind. How, what else was he supposed to do? Yeah, true. I might have been worse. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like yeah. I can't judge you for being. He was acting. so young, man, bro. That, when you're that young at fucking 12, 13, 14 yeah. years Girls old, girls are throwing panties at you when you're twelve. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you've been treated literally yeah. like a god on earth. Yeah. Yeah, Since no, you even be kid to figure out who you were, yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. So it's damn near impossible to not go. And crazy. also, he was getting that kind of love from adult women. Exactly. Yeah. It wasn't just young girls that were screaming. Yeah. It was do- adult women per waiting out for on him too. to turn. Waiting 18 for him to be eighteen. Yeah. And you know, honestly, women, we're not. Women could get away with that too. Yeah, I was about to say oh, probably yeah. not. Oh, double yeah. standard. Yeah, women women yeah, could get away yeah. with. Yeah. Uh, yeah just like remember I said the last time. I was like, when I say the words pedophile, what what image comes to mind? And it's always a man. It's always a man with glasses and balding in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Some middle aged yeah. dude, but, Mouth but you wouldn't think that it's you Mouth know, breather, yeah, fast. yeah, but you wouldn't think that it's Miss Sally, you know, uh, Miss Johnson who yeah, lives like next that. door, even yeah. though she's doing the same thing, you know, so, but she's getting away with it because nobody's look who would suspect her for that, so right, exactly. There's yeah. so many men that casually got like sexually assaulted out here, exactly, you know, as children, exactly. and just play it off like it was like that's the biggest thing you have to protect your yeah. children from, I feel like, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. fucking people. Yeah, yeah but yeah. see, but here's the thing: the, the a lot of people who have been molested by uh, by older people, it's usually somebody in the family. It's, oh, yeah, it's, that's, it's, oh, yeah. rarely, well, it's that's rarely a thing. stranger. Exactly, that's a, that's it's an uncle. Thing. It's a yeah, that's it's an older thing. cousin. Just protecting your children long enough yeah. to where they could defend themselves if something like that were to happen. That's yeah. it. Yeah. So it's that's so why hard. it's always funny. We're yeah, always yeah. like defending people from like strangers or some weird man coming into the family. It's like no, Uncle Johnny is touching your child. Yes, yes. How do you how do you suspect that? You know? Yeah, I think kinda... it could be like the biggest thing is beating them to it and giving the, your kid the tools to avoid Recognize the situation, certain yeah. weird behavior. Yeah, and shit. Before... and starting as young as to where like you're explaining them using as children. If somebody touches you here, here, That's or it. here, tell mommy. You or tell me or... immediately. That's you it. know what I'm saying? That's like it. we're starting with just pointing. And if anybody but me or mommy touch those areas, right. you need to tell us immediately. That's it. Yeah. yeah. And if so they tell you not to tell me, then really need to tell me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's that. Yeah. I don't exactly. care. You'll never get in trouble. Right. But I need to know immediately. Right. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, that shit's crazy, no, bro. And, and it's like, you got to start teaching them yeah, no, no, as it's, early it's, as possible. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that is man. the sensible thing to do because maybe that the reason why it, con- it continues to happen is because they're not taught what to look out for. That's it. Yeah. And then you also think about the people raising children, it happened to them. Yeah. There's, yeah. there's people yeah, yeah. raising children that it happened to them and they never told nobody either. That's yeah. it. They've like oppressed it a lot of time or whatever, even though yeah. I'm I'm yeah. I had a lot of freedom as a kid. Um I ran around pretty much like so did what I. We know. Yeah. Um, so did I. but 
I did. I, I did have. I did have the ability to, if the vibes weren't right, we got up out of there, man. Like, yeah, it wasn't, right, we didn't right. Really, I'm dipping, though. Yeah, it I'm was dipping. like, I'm, like if, if the advice, especially with adults, yeah, if they were older, somebody, yeah, if the vibes weren't right, for the most part in general, like, we would just actively avoid adults. Adults, like, it was just, Pretty much. Yeah. You shouldn't even like, be trying to associate with me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, yeah. Like, me and my brother, uh, I remember we dodged a certain situation. We were walking, this is like 99, so I was 16. Uh, he was 14. We were walking from high school, and we were passing this house. And I remember there was this white woman who was probably maybe in her mid to mid to late twenties. I would say maybe maybe late twenties, early thirties. Yeah. She was sitting on the porch, and I remember we were walking by her house, and she said, "Hey, hey, hey, you, yeah, hey, y'all, come over, come here." She's like, "Come the here," fuck? and we were like, "Huh?" Is that, yeah, come here, and we were like. Uh, sorry, I, I said, uh, so, sorry, we, we have to go home. Come on, Sean, please. Yeah, we have to go. No, 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 come yeah, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's all she was saying was come here. So till this Hell day, no. I have no idea I have what no she idea what wanted. I what you had in store for me. Right. But I, I told but me you, and my brother to just keep going. You're like, no. Nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so you I know that no we don't need to be stopping for this. Yeah, 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 like what, dis- what if we wouldn't be here right now and we would have disappeared? What are we doing with the craziest shit, bro? It's just like, what's happening, dog? Yeah. No, I totally agree. I just never had those thoughts and I just be like, how the fuck are you getting to the point where this is happening. Well, you were unwatched that. for that long. No, you're right. It's like, I, no, I totally I agree. The same thing. I was the same thing like in Queens, New York. Me and my brother at 12 and 10, like we used to wander the streets at night in yeah. Queens. Yeah. And, you know, like we could have been snatched up at any time. Yeah. <laughs> but we never, you know, we never thought about that. My mom never thought about that, you know. But, but you had decision making process. You know, you were equipped yeah. with that. And you were like, okay, so even, so at, 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 that, at, at that age time, yeah, like when I was younger, if the situation was looking a little too adult, we'd keep it pushing, man. Facts, yeah. facts, facts. That was also another fact. It's like sometimes you would, you know, you'd have friends that were doing shit that we weren't supposed to be doing. You'd be like, ah. Yeah, yeah you know, know I just need to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, that on top of that, it, like in the 90s, at least for, for us, like the stranger danger thing was really like implemented. That was something yeah. that was, that was yeah. played before something. cartoons and that's shit. So that's, that was already in my head. You know, that's kind of a safe approach thing. to me. Like I think honestly... So I don't think the abstinence approach is a great approach to sex, but I do think nah. abstinence is a good approach to strangers. Like, yeah. Yeah, just, facts, just make facts, strangers facts. universally not Just good. stop interacting with people you don't know. That's yeah. it. Yeah. That's, yeah, it. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. it. Abstinent for strangers. Yeah. yeah. That's it. It's that could like be a title up. name. Or it was another one that popped up earlier. Abstinence for strangers. Mm. I had another one off the top of my head. Mm. We'll figure it out. But yeah, let's yeah. get a body. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, as a matter of fact, you're seeing it right now. No. Right, yeah. <laughs> um, but so yeah, you know make sure is. y'all like, comment, share, subscribe, everything to 3O Podcast. I know it drives y'all crazy, but we will continue to keep talking. <laughs> and we're not we're not gonna stop talking anytime soon. So we're just we, gonna keep talking about random stuff. We're just you gonna know? keep talking about random shit and you're gonna keep hate commenting. Yeah, just, and we encourage all bullshit behavior in the keep comments. Keep coming. Keep it coming. We yeah. appreciate you because we will be responding to every single one. That shit is inspirational, as a matter yeah. of fact. It's actually your inspirational because your, your response reel is coming out in less than two hours, probably. So yeah. it's coming out very soon. So because I don't give a fuck about posting multiple times a day and I'm about to feed this machine. That's yeah. right. So we'll see you out there in the threads. Yeah. yeah. See, you in the, see you in the replies, brother. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, we'll see y'all next week. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Turn your post notifications yes, yes. off. Don't be lame. Hit the subscribe button. Too many people are not unsubscribed, not enough returning viewers. We need y'all to return. Turn post notifications on and all that because it's going up. Peace. We'll see y'all next week. Peace. Later. I forget you.